Hey you lovely people welcome back to my channel so today's recipe is a very fun recipe many subscribers were asking for it so here it comes today i'm going to show you how to make mini vegan chocolate cake now this cake has no butter no eggs and no milk and before we get started I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload a video. So let's get started. Now first step here is to take a big bowl and to it I'm going to add 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm using canola here. And into this I'm going to add half a cup of sugar. I'm taking normal sugar here. I'm just going to whisk it a little bit. And to that I'm going to add half a cup of water and that's just at a room temperature, normal water. Just mix that all together. And to this I'm going to add half a teaspoon of regular white vinegar. Again mix that in. And now I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Just keep on mixing. And then I'm going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. So now is the turn to add our dry ingredients. This is a quarter cup of cocoa powder, three by four cup of all-purpose flour, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Whisk this together. Now you can also use an electric mixer here if you want. So I'm just going to combine all of this. Just keep stirring until everything is mixed and once that's fully combined we are going to pour this in our baking tin. I have here in is a mini baking tin which is 6 inches round and I have already lined it with parchment paper. Using a spatula means we are taking everything out of the bowl. It makes our job very easy. My oven is already preheated at 180 degrees Celsius which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Just give it a little tap and bake for about 35 to 40 minutes. So here here is our cake exactly after 35 minutes. At this time the cake is uh, extremely hot. Uh, I'm going to let it cool uh, for about 15 minutes and I'll be loosening the cake with my spatula once it's cooled. So it's been 15 minutes now. I'm just loosening the sides of the cake with my spatula. So let me just take this out of the tin. So here it goes. So let me just remove the parchment paper and here is our cake. beautiful cake which is still warm let it cool for some time now because our cake is vegan so i'm going to stick to the vegan theme and instead of ganache i'm going to uh, decorate my cake with some melted mi milk chocolate now this is my milk chocolate i'm going to show you how easily it melts so i have some hot water on my gas burner i will bring it over here and place this bowl on top of that pan and then i'm going to pour the chocolate into this bowl So here's the hot water just came off the heat and I'm going to place my bowl over it grab a little bit of chocolate and add to the bowl I'm adding little bit because I just want to show you something I'll just zoom the camera and show you so hot water is underneath and it's few seconds only and uh, you can see the chocolate has already started melting 
Now this shows that our chocolate is of good quality. It would not have been uh, melted uh, so soon if uh, it would have been otherwise, if the quality would not have been that good. So our chocolate is of good quality, that is the reason it, it has started melting so soon. So now I'm going to take a rest of the chocolate and add it to the bowl. And now I'm returning this pan again to the stove. We'll keep it there at low until all our chocolate is melted. So here is our cake. Uh, I've cut it in between so that I can put some chocolate in the center of the cake. So I have a butter paper and I have placed my cake over a small glass so that all the chocolate that is uh, dripping I can use it later on. So first I'm going to put some chocolate in the center of the cake. Just spread a little bit. You can pour as much as you like as per your requirement, your taste. Just spread this properly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the upper layer on top and I'm going to pour all the melted chocolate over this. That's it. So once this is fully covered with chocolate, we are going to place this either in fridge for half an hour or in room temperature for about one hour. So this is after one hour. Our chocolate has firmed up a bit. So let me take a slice of it. I'll, I'll show you how nice this is from inside. Just be careful. Wow, it looks amazing. See, this is so good. And now let me just zoom in the camera. You can have a better look now. And do not forget that this cake has no butter, no eggs and no milk. Amazing. And now I'm going to show you how nice this is. See, very, very moist cake. Let me just taste this now. Hmm. Amazing. I cannot describe how good this is. I hope you try this out at home. It is a super, super moist cake. And the chocolate is really intense. Now if you serve this cake to your guests, they will not be able to judge that this is vegan and do not tell them. Tell them afterwards once they have eaten it. So thank you so much for watching my video. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share and also please do not forget to press the bell icon. So until we meet again, this is Dipali from DipaliHori.com.